friends uh, welcome to tech like video tutorials uh, in this ongoing uh, spark sql uh, video tutorials a uh, previous session we started with uh, how to create a database how to create a table and uh, difference between uh, main is table and external table so that we went through in previous video and uh, today's session primarily we will focus on uh, different kinds of views how to create a view and uh, different types of views so when it comes to data engineering or data warehousing or any analytics project, right? So views are a common uh, at ETL level, at data engineering level, at reporting level. So it depends on uh, requirement, depends on requirement. Uh, we will concentrate on uh, view. First, we'll understand what is view and uh, different types of view. What is view? Different types of view. A view is a window of a table view does not store any data view is a, just a window of a table or a query view does not store any data and you can create a different kinds of views so one is like a database object table so you can create a view and again there are two types of temporary views are available a global temporary view and temporary view global temporary view and temporary view first what we will do we'll create one table and uh, we'll see that we'll create one table and uh, we'll see that just i'm going to create one table uh, just uh, just it's employee information just it's a employee information so based on that based on that table so table or maybe multiple tables if you want to join and get the data we'll write a sql queries we'll write a sql queries so if you have a requirement to use the same query multiple times if you want to use the same query for multiple times so they can go for a view okay so consider i'm going to create this table and i will show you the data available data in this table it's a creation in progress table will be available within a few seconds so i'm going to insert this data and uh, even the table will be available in where spark meta store in a default database because we are not specified any database here you see this just we are creating a table whenever you create a table without specifying a database name so it will be available in spark catalog default database now the table is available here it is in spark meta store now let's query the data let's query the data so view is a window of a table means view always refer a query it will store a query only it won't store any data view always depends on a query so that's remember that now this table is having some data this table is having some data so i want to retrieve data where id greater than five consider this query i want to use of multiple times or frequently i'm using query frequently i'm using this query instead of writing this query what you can do you can create a view create or replace why we will use a replace if already available then it will replace because view only you're not replacing data okay just a view contains query to so create or replace view view name so what i'll do i'll go with the v underscore employee as so this is the syntax for creating a view V is object like a table, but table contains data, table stores the data, view contains only query, this select query. View does not contain any data. View always depends on this query. If table is available, then it will get the data. So as, then you will select query. Now, view is created. Now you can go to the data Caspar catalog. So V is created here view is created here it is like a table it will be stored in a spark catalog like a table but the difference between table and view is view does not contain any data view is window of a table window of a table means depends on this query now i'll read data from that view so select start from that view so when you're reading data right you see this Whatever this query is returning, same data you will get. Instead of, instead of, same, both are same. 
you see this. Okay, this is called view. Now, I will show you the DDL of this table. So, how to verify the data data definition? Okay, show create table. So, it is a table, and we are giving a table name. Now, you can see the DDL data definition means how table is created. The DDL. It's a delta table using type is delta and uh, type uh, like a table type it is a manage table or you can see internal table now similarly let's look at this view as well when you go for if you want to know the ddl definition of the view definition of the view is nothing but normally we'll go with the show create view but when you are going for view you cannot find this show create view view name when you look at this you see this so you should go with again as table as well so when it comes to metadata right when you are retrieving metadata from spark catalog don't use a view for views also use the same keyword called table now this is the view definition view definition show create table view name show create table view name now if you look at this this is the view definition which is having a columns and the query you can see this when it is created the table properties you can see the last ddl time timestamp unix timestamp okay even you can verify this unix timestamp so you can go to the website unix timestamp then provide your unix timestamp it will give you the data you see this it's a sunday october 9th 7 41 uh, it's a gmt time similarly you can verify in ist as well so utc time and other timings okay now this is about a view a view is object the object will be stored in a spark meta store and the difference between view and a table is uh, the only difference here is view depends on query so the query whatever tables you are using maybe one table or two tables or ten tables it doesn't matter query so this query if uh, working then view will be fine if the query maybe any column is missing or maybe table is not available then the view raise exception because view does not store any data just to store this query that's all now let's understand another two types of views another two types of views so we created a just a normal view right then we'll understand how to create a temporary view create or replace temporary view so temporary view i'll create as tv underscore em same table that this using this query using this query or maybe greater than this value i'm going to create or replace a temporary view so view is available now you can query this okay now we are able to get we are able to get the data now let's say create another one called global temporary view global temporary view global temporary view i'm going to create another view type called global temporary now this view directly you cannot access directly you cannot access if not specifying any schema name what will happen this global temporary views will be available in a common schema that is called global underscore temp the schema name is called global underscore temp so it will be available under this schema okay this is called global temp view global temp view now let's understand the difference between these three views this is a normal view okay this is a global temporary view this is a temporary view so temporary view will be normally but you cannot find in spark catalog here you see this only permanent view you can find in spark catalog okay let's understand the differences between view difference between view and temporary view and global temporary view
So when we will go with the view? So view a scope is par catalog. Okay, view scoped is par catalog. So par catalog means which can be accessed any user, any user in any session in any cluster. So this scope is par catalog. So consider I'm having one cluster, I want to access in another cluster that can be accessed like a table. That's the advantage of view because it is storing its Spark catalog. Now, next one is temporary view. So temporary view primary requirement is user level. User level. So scope is user level. So this view will be available only that user. Other users cannot be accessed. Other users cannot be accessed. Then what is a global temporary review? So global temporary review is Spark session scoped. Global temporary. So this view is mainly for Spark session scoped. Scope is Spark session. Or I can say cluster. Okay. So this view is available only at Spark cluster level. So anyone can access, anyone can access within the cluster. This is the scope of these three views. So views, normal views can be accessed in any, any can be accessed by any user in any session in any cluster. But temporary reviews only that user level. So the scope will be user level. So they cannot access in another session. So like a job level, if you have a requirement of job, one job, right? So job level, you can use this. And if you want to use that cluster level, then global temporary reviews. So same cluster if you're running a two, three jobs, but if you want to use the same view in another job as well, then you can go with the global temporary reviews. Single job level are multiple jobs are using the same cluster, multiple jobs are using the same cluster, high concurrency clusters, not a job cluster. So then you want to use it uh, in a, another job as well, then go with the global temporary review. The scope is a spark session, means a cluster is the scope. So spark session scoped views are global temporary reviews, user session scoped views are temporary reviews. Entire Spark catalog means any user, any cluster. Consider you have a two clusters or maybe ten clusters. Any cluster you can access. Any user can access. So that is called object table as like object view. View will be available in Spark catalog. You see this. So this is about a different kinds of views. Let's understand this temporary view. So this view is available, right? This view is available. Now, if you clear the state, there is an option called clear state. You see this. Once you click on clear state, it will be a purged user memory. Whatever user is created objects, right? Maybe variables, data frames, functions, anything. It will purge the user memory. So whatever user session is there, it will clear that existing variables and other things. That is called clear state. It can clear user state. That's why I told you user state view will be available at user level. If you click on this user st clear state, okay, then it will purge the user memory. Now you cannot find this view. Now you cannot find this view, but you can find a global temporary view and you can find an object called normal view. So this view is available, even global temporary view is available. Okay, now. When it comes to global temporary review, it is at Spark session scoped. So session scoped means if you restart your cluster, so there is an option called cluster. If I restart cluster means it will restart the Spark session. It will restart the Spark session. So that session scoped 
So spark station level, so spark station, if you are restarting, whatever variables, everything at a spark station scope, it will purge the memory. When it is purging the memory, you, you, cannot, you cannot get those objects information. Now go and verify that. Once cluster is restarted, you can verify that global temporary view. So we created here global temporary view. So this, this. Once cluster is available, cluster restart, restart in progress. Even uh, you can open in another window. I will show you the compute. Go to the compute, open the cluster. Uh, you can find an event log. You can find an event log. In a compute, particular cluster, and event log. You can find the complete event log when cluster is created, when cluster is available, when driver is healthy or not, when is restarted, who is restarted. This is my mail ID, so it is showing that. So that's that's the information about. Uh, we are just restarting, and uh, you can do the refresh. There is a refresh person. You can find the right side. And uh, so cluster is running. Go and verify now. So this global temporary view is a Spark session scope. So we restarted Spark session. So what will happen? Whatever there in a Spark session, it will purge. Whatever there in a Spark session, it will purge. But when it comes to community edition, right? So community edition, even community edition, when you restart a cluster, it will purge the Spark catalog as well. So ignore that Spark catalog option when it comes to community edition. I'm just showing this option, temporary view, global temporary view this is user session scoped this is spark session scoped this is spark catalog scoped this view is spark catalog scoped so based on the requirement based on the requirement you can choose any of this view three types of views even PySpark also you can find a temporary view global temporary review they're also same nature so here we are using a sql so there is PySpark. So this view won't be available in PySpark, so because it's a SQL view, but these two views are the, which is available in SQL, which is available in PySpark, nature also same, it's called temporary review, global temporary review. This is a very important concept to understand the difference between view, temporary review, global temporary review. Then next session, what we will do, we will understand more about the DML operations, then we'll start a data retrieval language understand more about data manipulation their uh, scd type 1 type 2 type 3 merge absurd delete okay so restore truncate so we'll understand all this data manipulation related data manipulation related thank you if you're not subscribed my channel please subscribe see you in another video thank you have a good day